NMAP, short for Network Mapper, is a network reconnaissance tool that allows you to scan an entire network. With the power of NMAP, you can find connected devices to the network, what operating systems are they running, which ports are open, and even find vulnerabilities in the network. In this video, I will show you all of that, and I will be testing it on my own vulnerable machine, so let's get started. I am going to scan my network. Type the following command to find your IP and network range. Copy your IP address and replace the last octet with 0 slash 24. This command is used to perform a ping scan or ping sweep. It sends ICMP echo requests to the target IP addresses and listens for ICMP echo replies. This helps to determine which IP addresses are online and reachable on the network. As you can see, we have three hosts up on the network. The IP address ending with Octet 130 is my target machine for today. Now we know our target machine's IP as a hacker or security professional. How can we find open ports or potential entry points on the target machine? For that purpose, we will use a TCP connect scan on the target network. To do that, we will use dash S and capital T switch with NMAP. Remember, you should always be asking yourself, what am I doing? Do I really understand what's happening in the background while performing this scan? That's why before running the command, let's understand what is TCP scan? How does that work? In this diagram, we have a computer and a server, for example. The computer sends a request to the server, saying, are you listening? Then the server replies back, saying, yes, I am listening, which confirms to us that the server is online and is replying to us. Then we will send another request saying, great to know that. And this way, our three-way handshake process takes place. This was just a simple and easy to understand explanation, I guess. But in computer networking, the first request that we will send is called SYN, and the reply from server is called SYN ACK. And then lastly, we will send another acknowledgement packet as well. Now let's run this scan and see the result. As you can see, it has found so many open ports for us. Again, as I mentioned, I am testing it on my own vulnerable machine. That's why we see a lot in results. Now, if you want to look for specific type of ports and services, you can do that as well. For example, we want to see if there is any web server running on this network. We will use the same command again, but this time we will specify the dash P switch. And after that, we will specify our ports we are looking for. In this case, we will use port 80 and 443. And as you can see, we have port 80 open, which means that there is a web server. Before showing you other options for scanning, I want to show you something that why you should not use TCP scan, because when we do TCP scan, we complete a three-way handshake process, and this will trigger its firewall detection, which will expose our identity, and we don't want that. Let me show you how this process takes place when we scan a network. We will use a tool called Wireshark to demonstrate the process of three-way handshake. Let's run the scan again and capture the traffic to see what's happening. As you can see, I send a request, which is a SYN packet. Then server replied with the acknowledgement packet. We then again sent the acknowledgement packet to server. Once the process took place, then I send another RST packet to end the conversation. Now let's first understand the stealthy scan with the help of diagram as well. In this process, we just send a packet to the server and then server replies back, but this time we don't reply and say, never mind, goodbye. Now let's do stealthy scan while capturing the traffic as well to better understand the process. Command is the same, just replace T with capital S. Of course, it requires sudo permission, so let's run the command again with sudo. Now let's see the captured traffic for stealthy scan. As you can see, we just sent a SYN packet and as soon as the server replied, we got the info that this port is open, that's why it replied. And then we didn't send any acknowledgement packet and walk away like nothing happened. We just send RST to end the conversation. Now, wouldn't it be great to also know which operating system our target is running? With NMAP, we can identify the operating system as well with the dash O switch. As you can see, it identified the target operating system, which is correct because my vulnerable machine that I am running is Linux. Now there is another great NMAP switch to use, which is dash A. This is the aggressive mode of NMAP, which enables comprehensive search on OS detection, version detection, script scanning, tracer route, etc. Now let's use that as well. This will take some time, so you need to wait. As you can see, we have a lot more details now. Along with the ports and services, it also shows you the exact version they are using on different ports, which is very helpful. The VSFTPD version is already vulnerable, which you will see later that this tool will find it. 
and there is a lot of information that you can look for. With all that, there is another very powerful scripting engine of Nmap which can allow you to write custom scripts, or you can use the default scripts within the Nmap. You can also find these scripts on the Nmap page as well. Before I start to run vulnerability test with Nmap scripting engine, let me tell you that performing scans on network or devices you do not own is illegal. Please test these skills in a controlled environment against your own machines, like I am doing it on my own machine. This video is purely for educational purposes only. Now, to use the scripting engine of Nmap, you need to specify it with the dash dash script tag, then type the name of the script. In our case, we want to use all the vulnerability scripts, and for that, Nmap has vuln, so specify that as well, and then type the IP address. This will take very long time to complete. You can press V on your keyboard, and then after every few minutes or hours, hit space and it will show the progress of scan. Scan is now complete. Let me show you what vulnerability it has found. As you can see, Nmap found it to be vulnerable, and giving you details about the vulnerability. And it also gives you the CVE for it, which is great. Scrolling down, you see it has given us possible SQL injection queries as well. Practice with it and see what you get, because there are a lot of info. I will end the tutorial here as well. I hope you have learned something. If you did, I'd appreciate a thumbs up and a follow. Thanks.